So they said it wasn't possible to make a nano SIM card out of your micro SIM card or your regular SIM card. That information is wrong. I was able to make my own nano SIM card just with these scissors in about five minutes. I will show you how in this video. Okay, here's some footage of the cutting process. So basically our goal is to cut away any extra plastic, the blue stuff in this video, and just leave the golden chip in the middle behind. The plastic is kind of hard, but with some good scissors, it's no problem. My scissors aren't even that sharp and I still manage to cut away the plastic. So here's an important part in this video. When you take a look at your SIM card, you will notice that in one corner, there's a little piece missing. And the nano SIM card has a triangle corner too. So just find the, the triangle corner on your regular SIM card or your micro SIM card, and that'll be the triangle corner on your nano SIM card as well. So just go ahead and be patient, don't rush it, and focus and cut away all the extra plastic on the outside. You may or may not know, the nano SIM card is a little bit thinner than a micro SIM card, so people thought that that might be a problem when it comes to cutting your own nano SIM card, but I can tell you I haven't done anything to, to the thickness of the SIM card and it works perfectly in the iPhone 5. So let's talk about the advantages of this procedure. Obviously it's good because you don't have to pay extra cash, but the downside is you can uh, you can damage your card and not use it again, but you would have bought a new card anyway, so no real loss here. The real downside for me is, this is a nano SIM card adapter. What this does is, you put your nano SIM card in, and then you can use it as a micro SIM card, for instance, in my Galaxy S3 or HTC One X, but this self-made nano SIM card just doesn't fit into this adapter, so I can't use it in my S3 or One X. Now, let's take a closer look at the final result, and you can see that I was able to cut away the extra plastic pretty well and in the corner on the right side, the bottom right corner, you see this little triangle I was talking about earlier and on the right side I think I I cut into the golden chip a little bit but it still works perfectly so no damage done. So let's wrap this video up by showing you the proof that this actually works. I will put the SIM card in the phone. I'm doing this with one hand since I forgot my tripod, but uh, come here, all right, okay, um, see it fits really well and you can shake it so it doesn't fall out. Uh, come uh, One second guys, with two hands is obviously not a problem, but one handed it's kind of hard. Now let's turn the phone on. This takes a while, so I will do the outro of my video now. Thanks for watching my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I was able to help you. If you do some damage to your SIM card, cutting it, don't blame me. It's your own risk, obviously. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I do cool videos about the um, Apple iPhone 5 as well as the Galaxy S3 and the HTC One X. Check the description box for links to my best videos of these three phones. I have some cool comparison videos up. So let's just wait until my provider shows up here. That will be the final proof that I was able to cut my own nano SIM card. Should be there in, I think, five seconds. Okay, it's here. There you have it. Okay, thanks again, guys. See ya.